Um, I'm relatively bullish here. I just think the bottom line is, look, we just had the 50 best trading days ever in the history of the stock market. And you're going to get some profit taking along the way. And I think that's what you saw yesterday. And that probably added to a little bit of panic selling as well. But the bottom line is, look, you have more government stimulus around the world than we've ever seen before. And the bottom line is economies around the world are getting better. You start looking at China's PMI numbers, they're going up again. Their demand for industrial metals is going up. So I think all the market really cares about long term is things are getting better, getting worse, and they're clearly getting better right now. And I'm hard pressed to think that we're going to go back to the lows. It's a pretty aggressive statement from where I'm standing, Dominic. Stocks are relatively on sale from where they were about a week ago. Tell us what exactly you would be looking to buy given what we've seen right now. Yeah, absolutely, Dominic. And I think, first off, you want to look at this as a correction in a bull market, right? You're going to hear a lot of the headlines right now talking about how finally the market's coming back to reality with the economy. And I would say don't do that. This is a great time to buy because you don't get these, these opportunities very often. And you just talked about cyclicals. And cyclicals have had a great bounce off the bottom here. If you start looking at things like consumer discretionary, materials, uh, energies had the biggest bounce of any sector off the bottom dramatically outperforming energy, uh, excuse me, technology here. So I think you will really want to start to buy the stuff that's been beat down a lot. And you talked about small caps. Well, small caps typically outperform when you're in a recovery. So I'm an asset allocator for our clients. We're trying not to put everything into big tech, which is really getting overvalued. I mean, Amazon now trades at 100 times for earnings. It's getting like crazy. So I think it's really important that you start to spread that money out. International looks good as well. Um, you're getting valuations there. They're very, very attractive. So my shopping list has all the beaten down sectors and all the asset classes that haven't performed well, but are starting to perform better since we bottomed back on March 23rd.